Hey guys, Natasha with the Day with Ethel blog. So, Missing Grace by S.L. Scott came in my news feed one day. I was sitting there, um, I was on Book in Maine, I'm reading some new kind of snippets of some books, and then I got onto Facebook, and this, um, kind of like this, like this little mini movie trailer came on for Missing Grace, and it completely captivated me, and I had to get it. Then I find out it's KU Unlimited, and I have the KU subscription, so I got it. I downloaded it. I just finished it. I turned around, and I bought the book, and it was for me, it was a story that was kind of a slow burn because it was suspenseful and there was so much going on that at first I was like, okay, what's going to happen? Something's going to happen. And it just, it gave me all of the feels. Um, I was completely captivated by Ben's love. Ben loved Grace. He loved her deep. He loved her wholeheartedly. Um, and then she vanished three years ago and he did everything. He was living in Seattle. He left Seattle and moved to Chicago to find her because he knew that Grace wouldn't just leave him. He knew Grace would not just, they were getting married in a month and he just had this sinking feeling something was wrong. Grace was there. Grace was in Chicago and he was determined to find her. Three years, he went to all of the hospitals, he put out flyers, he contacted nurses, the police station, he did everything because he knew Grace was there. Then he found her. He was at a hospital event and he sees this woman across the way and it's those, those eyes, those eyes and everything came back and he rushed across the room. Mind you, he was finally dating again and he was trying to see if he can go on but the gal he was seeing knew that his love his his life had a placeholder for grace but when he met this woman her name wasn't grace it was jane but deep down he knew it was his grace so over the time he he starts talking to jane and starts seeing it and he finally talks to her and finds out that he had everything except for her because she was already bound to another man that was a doctor and everything just didn't nothing felt right to Ben and it was kind of those things that it's just like my heart ached because I think if I ever lost the love of my life like Ben did that I would have those same emotions those same things because I don't know what I would do if I didn't have him in my life because he is my soul I we finish each other's sentences so Ben's struggling, but so is Jane. Jane finally meets up with Ben and she finds out she really is Grace. And Grace, her layers start peeling back. She has amnesia. She was hit by a taxi cab three years earlier and she doesn't remember anything. But this doctor, Hunter, he saved her. He's been there for her. He's been her rock this whole time. But Ben's like, I've been looking for you. I had flyers. I've been to the hospitals. I've done everything for you. And you've been here the whole time. And so as these two kind of break the layers and Jane or Grace start seeing how things start falling to place, she finds out she really is Grace. And she may have been lied to and some things may have happened. But when Grace and Ben are together, there is this emotion that I'm gonna get this I have this quote I want to share with you guys that I I cried a lot in this book because I their emotions and their love and their connections she doesn't remember Ben when she first sees him but she remembers the touch she remembers the feeling and she knows in her heart her mind's not there but her heart is there that Ben is the love of her life. And she says this, everyone said to know him was to love him, but Grace thought differently. She loved him even when she didn't know him. That right there is this whole Missing Grace stories. She loved him in her heart, in her soul, but her mind wasn't there yet. And then when her mind gets there, it is, it's breathtaking, it's beautiful, it's emotional. I may have sobbed and I was driving. Well, I wasn't driving. I was a passenger in the car reading this. So guys, it is in the links. It's one of those emotional stories that 
it's a it's a slow story to get to because those all those emotions you have to go through those emotions to get to that happily ever after but it's beautiful and there's some twists and there's some suspense and it's sl scott missing grace it's in the links talk to you later